It's Troy F. Snitching. Greetings to you all. I pray that you're feeling blessed and highly favored on today. So getting right into it, a uh, recently groundbreaking street podcaster, Tack Stone, his trial has started. And after six years for the infamous shooting, which took place at Irving Plaza in New York City, this shooting actually took the life of Troy Ave's bodyguard, known as Banger. Now, I'm sure you probably are aware of the details surrounding the whole situation, especially if you clicked on this video. But um, if not, then I'll do a brief summary of that. Uh, Troy Ave has provided uh, the details in his testimony. So, yeah, <laughs> of course, he showed up suited and booted. Man, that boy was sharp as hell. You know what I mean? And he gave his side of the story that basically stated that after Tax Stone asked him what's popping when he walked into the club, you know, his man went to go put hands on him. His man Bangham went to go put hands on him, which led to Tax Stone pulling out a firearm and subsequently getting active. You know, um, he and uh, well, just him by himself ended up shooting not only Troy Ave's bodyguard, but he ended up shooting Troy Ave two times as well. But Troy was actually able to wrestle the gun away and was able to return fire, which was eventually caught on camera. And uh, initially it looked like Troy Ave was doing the shooting, but later Tax Stone's uh, fingerprints were actually found on the clip. And it looks like, uh, it looks to prove like it looks to prove Troy Ave's claims. And also there was some wiretaps, you know, so really he's not technically snitching is what everybody's saying. But that is the big question with him actually giving information. Is he really snitching? Well, to me, it's actually a touchy subject because for one, I like Troy. You know, he got some songs that I really rock with. You know, that Chuck Norris is a classic. I fucks with them hoes and the gangsters. I'm up with the dough yelling thank ya. You know, I like his rendition of uh, I Ain't Mad At You. After the whole shooting took place, he snapped on that. You know what I mean? Amongst other songs, you know what I'm saying? I like it's all about the motherfucking money. I like, I like a lot of his shit. And in a sense, he's just somewhat clearing his name and proclaiming his innocence. But in the process, like I said, he's mentioning another man's name and potentially hindering his freedom, you know. But, uh, you know, being honest, it's not Takashi 6 9 level of snitching. But, you know, to me, it, it still is telling. But I'm not sure he would be able to plead his innocence without telling the full story. So, I mean, it's fucked up and it's complicated, but, you know... A lot of, you know, well, being in the streets, you see a lot of people telling for a lot less than what he's going through. Some people are just telling for no reason. And, um, you know, there's already a lot of public information out here, like we've already mentioned. Like, they already got wiretaps with casting over, calling somebody and speaking on it. Like, dang, uh, 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 Tax Stone just shot the club up. You know what I mean? They got everything on camera. They got his clips on the, I mean, they got his fingerprints on the clips. So, you know, it's hard for me to call it, but, you know, I would love to know what the streets of New York is saying about this. You know, if you happen to be from up top, man, definitely jump in the comment section and let me know what the streets are saying up top. Because, you know, like I said, this is a touchy subject. I'm not putting him in the boat of a Takashi 6 9 I think he's just simply telling his side of the story. But, like I said, it's already such public information. I'm not really sure if it's right because t some would say he's just restating the obvious. He's just restating what the people already see there. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, if he didn't testify, you know, Tax Stone will probably be going to jail anyway. But, you know, um, I'm not sure, you know, because a lot of people just feel like you sitting down with them folks in general. You snitching, you know what I mean? Because pro he probably going to get more time due to what you talking about. And I haven't really heard Tax Stone's side of the story. I'm not sure how his... How his uh, defense team is trying to play it. Are they just trying to say that he was in danger? Like they ran up and bum rushed him, you know, and just trying to cop out for the gun, you know, and saying that, you know, the murder wasn't really his fault because they came and approached him. He might get off with that because they did, you know, even Troy Ave is saying they approached him. Like they came up to do him harm and really see what's going on. He said he was going to sock him. You know what I mean? That's what his bodyguard told him. So this is what Troy Ave telling the courts. So, you know, it's hard to say. You know, he might have felt like he was in danger, but, you know, in New York, you can't have no gun. And so I'm not sure if that's how it's going to play out, if he just going to, you know, eat that one and try to, you know, just get the body up off of him. So it's really going to depend on the on the defense team, man. But, you know, again, like I said, this is a touchy one. Y'all jump in the comment section. Y'all let me know, man. Is Troy Alvarez? You know what I mean? Is he snitching, telling? 
it ain't no defense for him. You're not rocking with him no more at all. Everything he done did is abolished. Y'all let me know what's going on. But, of course, until next time, everybody on the sound of my voice, certainly be blessed.